Hey, I'm back on Heartband Lake. It's been uh, difficult to figure out what I'm going to be, uh, what I want to do um, to film. Uh, but I figured might as well keep trying S's, but I need stun towers. And um, I'll try, I'll test out a little things to see if it helps with S. Um, I got three attempts, so hopefully those three attempts um, work out. If not, I'll go back to the drawing board. Um, pretty much, I'm just waiting for these donations to uh, finish. So I'll be farming gold, putting up towers, and actually attempting S while these glorious guys build. So I think I can do... That's not what I want. I think I can make two already. Yep, okay. Usually, hopefully, uh, it's not too crazy to farming. Uh, if it is, then I'll just attempt what I got. Oh, this should go right here. And I will do that. I guess I'll have to use a little bit more spells that I wanted. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? So that was... Oh, so I have my Reaper in. I've been testing out Reaper and HBM um, R instead of Siren to see if his attack speed with Pumpkin Duke if he could just start procking, procking, procking and it helped clear some of the stuff in R so it test him out in S but he's got such little HP that um, he would just get annihilated in S. So I think I've tried Ares too. Um, so I'll probably put in Ares. People said I need a debuffer, so I'll I'll test that out. Um, but he's a little too powerful for R. I've noticed with Warlock and Ares they can just own all the heroes if a, a good solid proc and I could have a straggler and thank god I have my towers there because if I didn't have my towers there I would have probably lost a couple of them just from the stupid timeout because Ares and Warlock just when they proc together it was pretty much with the Cupid buff it was just like poof all these heroes are done so I definitely feel he's too powerful for R just for the fact that he can just wipe out a wave and keep all the crappy heroes to try to clear all the buildings. Especially when the HP of the the buildings are so like five times the height I mean health than back in the day. Oh, that's so far away. I thought my there we go. I was gonna say I thought my Vlad was gonna go in a lot sooner, but he he did. He still clears it up. He's so powerful that boom. He's so powerful that he can just clip them. It's such a big wide area proc that he just clips them and just poof they're done. Okay, we're getting gold, getting gold. I probably should use flags, but. It's alright. I'm still waiting for the donation thing anyway, so doesn't really matter. Alright, this is where ah, please, there we go. Sometimes um, they get hung up because I get a little quick stun on that. And so I always, just in case, throw the snowstorm down to lose. I mean, to, so I don't lose my heroes. Oh, this is funny. So I still have not lost a thousand attacks against other players. Um, it's been like this for a while. I don't want to lose. I think this is pretty cool. I mean, 50 gems is nothing, but um, I think from how long I've been playing, not to lose a thousand is pretty cool. Especially when back in the day I was purposely losing... Um, because I wanted those 50 gems. Now I don't need the 50 gems. 
Now I'm trying to hold off. It will happen. I know I'll lose sooner than later. I've been losing lately because of um, Skull Knight just being a crazy beast. Um, and sometimes he just goes off and my guys just can't kill him. He's just destroying them. So I've lost a couple like that. So I know it's going to come. I'm just trying to hold off on my thousand lost. Uh, I think it's a nice little accomplishment that this account has waited this long for a thousand. And I think it's funny. So it's one of those things where as long as I can keep holding off and not losing, I'll do my best and everything. Even if I have to use like a billion spells, I'll and I'll take it. I just don't want to lose. It's it's kind of comical to me. So let's see. I can get at least. Don't oh, come on. I can get at least one more. Oh, I can get two more. So I only need approximately. That's not good. A million gold. Ooh, this is a good one. I'll get close with this one. Oh, and I've seen, <laughs> I've seen it when the warlock procked. I there's been times where some bases just own me. Um, they just have a good combination of skills and talents, and me not paying attention, and me not even doing anything. Like me placing my heroes down, and all of a sudden, boom, they're done. I've laughed a couple times. I wish I had it on video because I was just like, man, these guys. This is exactly what I would have done. If I had those heroes in those, in that base, I would try to prevent you guys, prevent other attackers from um, trying to attack my base. So I would do my best to send out all my great heroes with super stun towers and I'll prevent you from winning an attack against me. I think that's a uh, that adds a little fun to the game. If I'm preventing you oh like that. I don't know if you saw that. That those two guys should have died. But I got lucky that my heroes got healed just as they did cuz he revived, he revived already. If you can tell by the I hate that. I hate that. I hate when I'm trying to scroll in and cast a spell. What I wanted to show was the wings. Pumpkin Duke has a wing and Vlad has a wing. That means they died. So they died and then pretty much should have died again and then they got a heal. So I got lucky with that. Should have lost two heroes. Which would have made farming a little bit harder. But perfect timing. Got my upgrade. Let's see how close we are to fill me, I mean, filling up this donation board. Ooh. Damn. That is not good. But this high might donation is absolutely ridiculous. I definitely <laughs> want that fifth army camp. That will speed it up a little bit. I'm not going to say totally, but it will definitely speed it up. And that's just, that's so long from now, I can't even... I'm thinking about it, but just not even not even worth thinking about it. Okay, so let's start putting some towers in different places. What the hell? There we go. Let's start switching out. Let's switch these out. Hopefully this is a good choice in because I have not I, I hope the stun towers just don't stun them way too much um, da, 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 where should I put that one I'll put this one right here um, because <sighs> they still need to make it to the middle and if they don't make it to the middle um, I'll get a timeout and I'll lose that way. First attempt will be with Ares. He's by far my... He is a really strong hero I have. I mean, he's 8 of 10. 
Um, but, I mean, it's not, it's just, you can only attack so many heroes. There's no AoE. So, this is going to be very interesting. And, might as well see how this it goes with um, stun towers. Alright, let's bust this out. I've seen S5 every single time. This time, I'm thinking it's going to be a little different. These towers just don't have any health. So they're going to go down quick. And I know my towers are really low. Um, if it does make a difference, I, I'll just use the shards and get them up to threes. But I, just want, I have to make sure it actually does anything, or I'd rather just keep focusing on my heroes. But we will see. The, it's it's mostly for these flying guys. So if you can stun these flying guys, there we go. That's what I like to see. I don't care about the other. Oh, look at that. That I mean, that's really the problem. Two hits and these towers are done. So if you can keep them alive somehow, the stun towers are actually gonna be. Maybe I should put a stun tower here. Just to save it. Because these two rarely get hit unless it's very late in the uh, in the already in the HBM. So if I can preserve at least one more later on, it actually might help. So next next time I'm gonna move the uh, stun tower down because I just need. Oh, see, fuck that. I, I mean, I can see how stun tower is good, but dude, two hits. My team's not that powerful to withstand buildings going down with a hit. They just don't have fast enough DPS. They have to stay alive. But, oh, what the hell just died? Did I lose Ares? No, oh my god. Ares, how the f, f do you die? I don't even know how anything attacked you. That's terrible. Unless there was some blade shell, blade shell or something reflect back, but god damn it. This is like exactly where I wanted Ares for. To see if he was going to survive and help with the dragon, but I'll have to wait another another turn. Obviously I can get to S5. S5 is just big Multanica is the block. That's the wall. I It's the 50 foot wall that I have to get over that it's not. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I mean look at how long it's taking to kill this boss. That's just not fast enough. I know I'm talking down on this account. This account's good. I'm just saying this p progression is a huge wall that I have to figure out and it's it's got me for it's got me I'm I'm struggling to think of the next steps to um god damn it's like not even doing any damage on this Multanica I mean I hope you guys are looking at that it I mean two procs I mean I I'm, I guess I have to debuff I mean need pixie because if Multanica procs it's over that that debuff that he get, puts on me is is absolute too absolutely too strong um i can see why pixie is just so valuable in hbms that to remove Multanica Multanica's debuff all right let's move let's move this one all right let's move that one all right, I'm gonna try one more time with Ares, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try a new hero in there. All right, some more. All right, let's get S going. Okay, at least at least S one, all this is gonna be cleared. So it's just battling with heroes. Hopefully, stun towers can. 
pick off these guys and not let them move until, so my Vlad can get there because if not a couple of my towers are going to be gone in a second oh that's that's one of the reasons why I moved all those gold vaults in because you don't get to have to deal with that it's I just lost two towers in a blink. Ugh. It's so frustrating. Obviously, I need to get these towers up. I mean, leveling those towers and get those health is the key, but I gotta. I don't have enough builders. I only have five builders. Just frustrating. Just frustrating. This is very. This. S is. S is beast. I can't even imagine what T is. I can't imagine people beating... I. Mean, if I beat T, I would be super ecstatic. Because I understand how hard... Understand how hard this is. This is just... I, I, R was not close to being this hard. The first time I did R, you know, I didn't think... Oh crap, I'm never going to beat R. I thought like, okay, just upgrade a few levels, a few talents, and you'll get you'll easily beat R. Boom, and I did that. This this is a whole another level. This is like I need some big talents. Um definitely probably going to have to ins get my inscribe crest up. I know they're lacking, but I just don't have the warehouse space to constantly forge them and make more. I just don't have the warehouse space. Um, that's what's limiting me on that. So I'm sure having more attack and more health will help, but oh man, this is just. I'm in disbelief. I mean, all those stun towers are done. So practically. Uh, yeah, they're done. I, I mean, I don't know if they were helping me because I've been able to do. I've been able to get to S five every time, so I I don't know if the towers actually do anything because they're they've been gone before even S five happens. So I don't know if it's helping me or hurting me to have stun towers. But right now I'm feeling like this thing's it was not beneficial to have stun towers. Fuck! I mean, the second the Maltanica procs, it's over. Oh, there's the debuff! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! We had it! We had it! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we had it. That was actually what you wanted. Actually, that's what I wanted. I wanted them to come right here in my pumpkin duke stack twice really fast and wipe out most of the Maltanica before it procs. I had it. I had it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I would have been so happy if I beat us. It would have been one of those things where it's just like, wow. I would have been so happy. But I can see how it's supposed to happen. The only way I can see it happening is a big one comes right here. My Cupid, Pumpkin Duke, start proccing, and this one slowly lags behind. Um, that big Moltanica has to get done first. It's just too powerful to have it sit there. But let's give it one more attempt. Um, I have to look at these stun towers. I'm I have to make sure this is actually worth it. If not, I'm just moving the gold to tower. Um, the gold bins back in because it seems like if I can make it to S10, S5 every time and the stun towers don't even help me um, I'm going to consider them I'd rather have health buildings on health than getting the stun because I'm feeling like the stun isn't just unless I don't have a high enough stun and if I had a higher stun I would see a better difference but there goes Ares Wow, Ares is not even making it out of... Okay, so Ares 
will not be on this team anymore. Oh, that'll be a fact. He's not even making it past S3. He just... I could put a revived crest on him, but still. He just... Siren. I'm guessing because... I have no clue why Siren has been better on S than Ares. So unless he just got picked off because these stun towers are just so low that it c switched aggro that fast before my heroes even... I'll have to relook at it. Um, but this is unbelievable. Well, now that stun towers are stunning. Yeah, I might just have too low of stun towers. These might need to be all fours. And these are my backup heroes. So I don't even have my higher purples in here. So maybe I do have to level up my stun towers to fours, maybe three, three, fours. I mean, I could do that. Thank you, Vlad, for super proccing. Um, but maybe they need to be three, three, four plus to make them actually valuable. Um, I don't quite know. But I'm sure two, two, three is probably inappropriate for S. But it's mostly just for might reasons right now. Not for I'm attacking S. So maybe I'm over, maybe I'm underestimating stun towers based on how crappy my towers are. So. But. Ares is down. Pumpkin Duke is down. This is definitely a wipe. But I'm just. I'm really just watching. I'm trying to figure out if these stun towers are. Are, are actually work, worth it for my team. Or if I can just put in. Health towers and survive more based on health because right now I'm feeling like my team can make it to S5 and that's not the problem it's just DPS problem actually I might even make it to S5 this yeah I might even nope that guy it, if he doesn't ha if I don't have Punk and Duke I can't pump out enough DPS to kill him in time before he makes it to the um, the middle. So I didn't even make it to S5. So without Pumpkin Duke, I definitely don't have enough DPS for S. And, um... Okay, that's pretty evident. Well, that's a good learning learning experience. Yeah, I, don't ha I can't kill him. I was going to see if those bombs, but those bombs did nothing. So... Might as well try another HBM 18. I have stun towers in, and uh, maybe that will do a little bit. Actually, help a little bit on trying to accomplish here. Let's see, let's do 18. Oh, that's not gonna work. <sighs> Pixies. Pixies are actually really tough. Um, especially when there's 50 of them. Or probably more than 50 of them. Global proc, global heal, global debuff, plus scatter. Um, your guys are not going to even blink. If they do blink, it's over. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I tried my best. Um, I tried my best on S. I, we got really close. This count got really close. I... I almost it almost happened. It almost happened. Um buildings. Just not enough HP. Dude, twenty seven thousand hit points. That's just so crappy. This has a hundred thousand. It's five times this. It, it makes people beating T before um the update that I had Builder build, uh, Town Hall go up to 25. Um, that more impressive. I'm pretty impressed by those people. Um, yep.
Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace.